I'm Dave from Camp Time, and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Rollacot. Notice the Rollacot comes in a nice mesh bag. The mesh bag is open only at the two ends, so you pull out the frame from the ends. There's one leg frame and two leg frames. And the main rail sections with the fabric on top. We'll get back to the to the bag later because it also hangs from the cot when the cot is set up. First job, unroll the cot, fold it in half. Notice that there's nothing supporting the middle yet. Okay, the reason you don't see anything supported is because this side has a slider tube that slides over this junction. Same with that side. So if you don't see four holes, one, two, you don't see them up here, that's because you haven't um, slid the slider over. You grab a hold of this end and you push it across the joint and you line up these two parts and you twist and push. Now, there's my third hole. Same with this side. Push it across the center hinge area and you twist the slider as you go and there it is, the fourth hole. So now we see one, two, three, four, you're ready to set up the frames. Each frame is identical. They fold open like this, and then you slide the wing nut, the uh, stu threaded studs into the respective holes. You pull up and you open up the Velcro closures and you drop it into the respect, respective holes. And then you wrap the Velcro around the joint. That keeps the frame from falling out. I'll get to that last one here in a second. Open it up. And here we go. I'm wrapping the Velcro. And at this point, I can rock it up, and then I'll get the other side. Go back to the other Velcro. The Velcro only does to keep the frame from falling out. It has no effect on structure or strength other than that. And here comes the bag. It has two loops, one at each end. Drop it onto the end of the Velcro. Close it back up. And the nice thing about this bag is that it forms a cot organizer for putting nighttime stuff in there like a flashlight, water bottle, maybe a book. And that's what she is. Ready for sleep. If this thing comes with wing nut adjusters to take the stretch out of the fabric so it makes it a little bit totter at the top. And it's best to screw those wing nuts wider when there's no weight on it. And this is the favorite part of my demonstration. I get to go to sleep. Oh. The cot itself weighs 10 pounds. It supports 250 pounds. This the size cot is our standard width, 28 inches. It's our standard length, 74 inches measured from the end of the fabric to the end of the fabric. And the frame is 15 inches off the ground. The top of the rails are 15 inches. On top of this, you can put an air mattress one of our cot lines actually has a sleeve in it, so you can slide an air mattress into the sleeve. And what's good about that is that it won't come off in the middle of the night. When you're done, done sleeping, you can throw it in the lake. You can throw it in the river, it won't hurt it. And the river runners find that this mesh is ideal for their use because it dries almost instantly and it's very airy. So on those hot river nights in the Grand Canyon, you're still gonna sweat but you, the sweat will come off you easier. Also, the cot comes in five different sizes in blue mesh and five different sizes in green polyester. The green polyester, again, that entire line has a, has a double layer on there to accept your air mattress, uh, up to 25 inches wide for the wide one and up to 22 inches wide for the standard. The five different sizes, there are, there's a small one that has a very short length of 67 inches, and then this one is 74 from end to end. The next long one is set 79 inches, and then we do have one that's also 84 inches that has three leg frames, one in the middle. That's particularly good for a person who wants a, 
a really taut middle section for his back. The cot comes in, like I said, blue mesh or green polyester. And the green polyester is the two layers. That's the only difference here.